Hey traders, this is just a quick video to remind you about my indicators and strategies course. If you're interested in learning more about profitable strategies and practical trading tools. My indicators and strategies course is separate to the mastery course because it contains nearly a hundred lessons, uh, extra lessons, breaking down every indicator and strategy script I've ever written in PineScript. And I had to keep them separate because in order to feel comfortable releasing them, I would have to increase the mastery course price significantly to match the value that these scripts provide. So I split them up into their own course. Um, I'll just briefly go over what's included. For those of you who are interested, obviously you don't need to buy this course. This is a blatant, shameless upsell to try and get you to buy another course from me. I'm not going to hide that fact, but I have spent thousands of hours creating these strategies, learning the skills that went into building these strategies, and obviously recording the hours and hours of content uh, contained in this course. So I'm extremely confident that the course is worth every penny and you get a discount being a member of the mastery course if you're interested in upgrading to this course, but we'll get to that soon. So what's included in this indicators and strategies course? Well, first of all, you get access to my ultimate pullback indicator source code, which is a script that I've been using to trade the Forex markets for a few years now. I'll jump into the charts in a moment and show you what this indicator does, what it's capable of. But there are several lessons here on this script alone. This whole category is dedicated to this one script because it has over 700 lines of code or so, and it is my flagship indicator. It's an indicator that I sell access to to other traders, and it's become quite popular over the years due to its extensive set of features. Now, some of these lessons are included in the mastery course, such as my libraries, because my Zen library is open source. Um, all of these lessons are included in the mastery course, but most of these lessons are not. So these lessons here break down every single trading tool and indicator I've ever created. Some of these indicators are experimental indicators where I was just testing out concepts and if they were possible in Pine, such as my dynamic structure indicator, which attempts to identify support and resistance in price action. And it does a pretty good job of that, if I may say so myself. But I don't personally use this in my own trading because I prefer to identify these zones manually with my own trading eye, my experience as a trader. But this indicator does demonstrate ways you can identify structure in the markets using PineScript. Then there are other indicators here that I actually use to trade the markets, such as my RSI swing signal indicator, which identifies uh, mean reversion trading setups, my ATR trailing stop tool, which assists in managing open positions that go into profit, and my ATR stop loss indicator, which I use to assist in speeding up my backtesting process significantly. Um, what else is here that's interesting? Uh, my R vol by time indicators are very interesting. They calculate the relative volume of a given bar based on its time of day. So for example, if you want to see what today's 10 a.m. volume compares to the past week's average at that time of day, this indicator does that for you. It's relatively advanced, which is why it is included in this course and not in the mastery course. I also have a bunch of strategy scripts that I either have used in the past to trade the markets profitably or currently use to trade the markets. And I'm still adding to this section. There are a couple of lessons that I haven't recorded yet, especially regarding a few uh, profitable automated strategies that I've been using over the past few months. Any strategy that I ever write will go into this section of the indicators and strategies course. So those of you who are interested in practical, profitable approaches to automated trading and backtesting, speeding up the backtesting process significantly using Pine and TradingView, you'll love this section. Now, this section is quite small at the moment. To be honest, I don't trade that many strategies. Once I find a strategy that works, I tend to stick with that for as long as possible. And I try to optimize that strategy and make it as robust as possible the more I learn about Pine and trading. But I do have a few more lessons planned for this section covering some experimental strategies that do show promise. And all of these lessons obviously come with the source code, so you can copy and paste these scripts straight into your editor, and you can do what you want with them. You can adjust them and it adapt them to your own trading style and preferences, or you can build entirely new indicators and strategies based on the source code here. Once you buy this course, you get lifetime access to all of this material, including any future lessons I record, any future tools or indicators or strategies I create, and the source code is yours to do with what you will. Once you buy this course, you don't need to credit me or anything like that if you use my code in your own scripts. That's why it has such a high price tag for this course. Once you buy access to this material, it's yours for life, including all future content, and you can do with the content whatever you want. There's a bunch of bonus sections here as well, which I'm also expanding on, including various 
conditional filters you can add to your scripts, price action filters you can add to your strategies to enhance the accuracy or edge, uh, your win rate with certain um, trading approaches. And there's a couple of categories here covering how I automate my Forex trading strategies. I'll be expanding on these sections in the months and years to come as I get more experience with automating my own trading through Pine. If you want more information about what's included in this course, I'll leave a link to this page uh, below the video. This page here explains everything you get in detail out of this course. And yeah, let's jump over to the charts really quickly and I'll show you what some of these indicators do. So here is my ultimate pullback indicator added to the chart. Uh, basically, it just detects high quality pullback trading opportunities in the Forex markets. It's intended for the Forex markets, but it should work on pretty much any market out there. It has some advanced statistical metrics that it tracks depending on the settings you use. Uh, it can tell you your, like it tells you how many bars you're in a trade for, what your max adverse excursion was, or how far price went towards your stop loss before hitting your take profit. Um, and you can even turn on a bunch of extra metrics up here. You can turn on the back tester results. Um, and if I turn on my max adverse excursion and max favorable excursion and the win loss, uh, you can see a bunch of metrics that get added up here, which gives you a bit of an insight into um, how the strategy works. Now in the course, breaking down the source code to this script, which is massive. If I scroll down to the bottom, we have 800, nearly 900 lines of code here. Um, it's a very, very big project that I've been working on for several years now and is the culmination of pretty much everything I know about PineScript. So if I go through the settings here, you can see there are a lot of settings in the script. Pretty much any feature in this script um, can be copy and pasted into your own scripts. So even though the source code is massive, if you wanted to extract a feature from the script to use in your own scripts, that's uh, relatively easy to do. I have a bunch of um, exit reasons here. For example, I could turn on the ATR trailing stop and now you can see that the script is trailing my stop loss until it gets hit by price action. And my metrics up here have changed. So now we have an average risk reward of 1.58 and a win rate of 40.95%. And the script is telling us what our danger zone is. This danger zone percentage is the minimum win rate that we need in order to break even with the given risk reward profile of the settings that we've put into the script. And it also obviously comes with full inbuilt auto view, automation functionality, and full inbuilt Pine Connector automation functionality, including a few extra features and safeguards that you probably won't find in many scripts out there. Now let's have a quick look at some of the other indicators here. Let's have a quick look at the Arvol by time. If I jump over to Bitcoin really quickly, you can see that this indicator down here is showing me how the volume on the current bar compares to previous bars at that same time of day. So with a look back period of 15 bars, um, if we look at this bar right here, for example, if I put a vertical line there, this red bar here printed significantly more volume than the average over the past 15 bars at this time of day. This is 1 p.m. my time. So at 1 p.m. my time, we had this giant red bar here print with giant volume, which led to a reversal. Um, obviously, you can spot that with normal volume, but having that extra insight into the relative volume uh, can be quite valuable, especially for crypto and stocks. So that's one of my more interesting indicators in terms of a creative application of Pinecode. Another interesting volume indicator that's included in the uh, indicators and strategies course is my cumulative volume by time indicator. Let's throw that on really quickly. Uh, here it is, cumulative volume average, throw that on. Now this shows the intraday volume relative to uh, the look back days. So by default, this is set to one day. So these bars here are showing the volume at that time of day compared to the previous day. So you can see that on this day here, there was much more volatility than the day before. And then on this day, the volatility or the volume traded dried out a bit and we got this consolidation period. So this kind of information can be really useful for crypto and stock trading. Uh, any market that is highly dependent on volume for confirming setups, for example, can be really useful to um, analyze the intraday uh, volume relative to previous days. And this indicator here, uh, doesn't matter what time frame you're on, it will tell you how the current bar's cumulative volume compares to the previous days or however many days you set here. If I set this to seven uh, on the five minute chart, it doesn't make much of a difference. Let's go out to the hourly. Now it's showing how the bar's volume compares to the past seven days of volume on average 
at that time of day leading up to that time of day. So at the start of each new daily bar, the uh, counter, the cumulative volume counter resets and starts reaccumulating throughout the day, resets, and it keeps comparing the volume to the previous uh, average. That's what the gray bars in the background are. So the lower this is to the gray bar in the background, the less volume is being printed. And that typically means there's less volatility for that day, which typically leads to an expansion in volatility at some point in the near future. So this sort of indicator is very useful for giving you an early warning sign of impending volatility. The purple line here is the highest uh, volume for that day's uh, that day of the week's cumulative volume on average. And you can see this black line here, which indicates how far price or volume has printed past the average. Um, and yeah, the whole source code to the script and the explanation behind it is included in my indicators and strategies course. Now let's have a look at one more indicator. Let's have a quick look at my dynamic structure indicator as well. Here you can see the script is detecting support and resistance zones, and it's drawing those zones over price action until uh, they get violated, basically. So these two resistance zones here and this support zone will continue drawing on the chart until one of them gets violated. And the script does its best to identify major moves uh, out of the markets, and then we'll draw that zone across price action until the zone gets violated by a close above or below these areas. Now the source code to this particular script is open source, but um, I do explain the source code in detail in the indicators and strategies course. That's the value of this course is that it will explain the thought process, the code line by line, how I did what I did and why I did what I did so that you can go out and build your own practical trading tools using the knowledge you've built throughout the PineScript Mastery course and by shortcutting the process of coding through burrowing or stealing uh, my best work. Some of these scripts took months to build because some of the challenges were quite difficult for me to wrap my head around and find a solution for. And so you can shortcut your own learning process significantly by picking apart the source code to my best work and having me guide you through how I did what I did and why I did what I did. Anyway, that's enough uh, trying to convince you that this course is worth your time and money. For now, I need to go back to managing my own trading and I've also got to finish cooking dinner. So I'll wrap this video up here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of the mastery course. It's not over yet. There's plenty more materials to come. So I'll speak with you in the next lesson. Take care, have a great day. And of course, as always, best of luck with your trading and your coding journey.